Katherine Johnson, trailblazer, mathematician, and all-around brain box. It was my maths which helped launch some of the first people into space. Have you been watching Horrible Science on BBC iPlayer? If you have, you'll have no problem beating my terrific technology quiz. So power up your logic circuits and let's go. Katherine Johnson's terrific tech quiz. Question one. What's the name of the numbering system which computers use? Is it A, programming, B, binary, or C, French? Need a clue? This system is made up of ones and zeros. So do you think you got it? The answer is B, binary. Binary only uses ones and zeros to represent bigger numbers. So the number we call seven is written as one, one, one in binary. It's a good system for computers to use, but not necessarily people. Now that's what I call binary bangers. Tired of complicated numbers ruining songs? Now enjoy them with all the numbers converted into binary ones and zeros. Yes, classics like 500 miles are miles better with binary. But I would walk one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero miles. And I would walk one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero more just to be the man who walked a one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero, zero miles to fall down at your door. Imagine you binary 24 hours a day. I mean, one, one, zero, zero, zero hours a day. We never get anything done. Question two. What word might a computer scientist use for a set of instructions that tell a computer how to complete a task? Is it A, an algorithm, B, an alphabet, or C, an alligator? Need a clue? This word comes from the name of the 9th century Persian mathematician, al -Khwarizmi. So, do you think you got it? That's right. It's A, an algorithm. Algorithms are a list of instructions to follow to complete a task. They're used by computers, but even a recipe to bake a cake is an algorithm. It only knows what to do If clear instructions have been programmed in by you like first you mix the eggs and flour Then stick it in the oven for an hour It won't know what filling to put in Unless a human like me has put the code in You must be careful what you type It won't know what type of jam you like A code, it flows so the computer knows just what to do But it needs to be told by you And then the action starts again A clear program, that's an algorithm Maybe you can invent an algorithm Which solves quizzes like this one Question three How many robots are on the planet Mars? Is it A, two, B, 23, or C? Impossible to know because the Martians keep building new ones. Need a clue? Well, we've been sending robots to Mars since 1971. So do you think you got it? That's right, it's B. We've sent 23 robots to Mars. Though we haven't found any Martians yet, if there are Martians, I'm sure they'd love the attention. Since 1971, humans have been sending unmanned expeditions to Mars and then just leaving stuff here. <laughs> this space trash gets right up my gazonum plots. Seriously, they've sent a load of these robots to Mars and only two of them still work. Uh, don't get us wrong, the two that work are Flurk Pack. Oh, Flurkly Flurk Pack. <laughs> the Perseverance Rover used to be my favorite. Then the Curiosity Rover sang happy birthday to itself. Oh, it's cute too, Jibom. But you know, besides those two, there are 20 broken robots that they flighted on Mars. 21. Get the broom blood, there's another one. Lots of the robots no longer work, and we've just left them there. Maybe the next robot we send should be a robot dustbin. Question four. Which of these things is a type of simple machine? Is it A, a screw, B, a television, or C, a bicycle? Need a clue? 
Well, a simple machine is something which changes the direction or the size of a force. So do you think you got it? The answer is A! A screw is actually a kind of simple machine. This is one of the classic simple machines out of which all other machines in the world are built. We were hoping to see robots. Yes, no, I really just do simple machines. But what is a robot, if not a collection of simple machines working together to create a wondrous effect? So you do do robots? No, we don't do robots. <laughs> What's he doing? But perhaps oh. I can pique your interest with another machine most marvellous. Is it better than a pulley? Ta-da! I cannot believe we've paid for this. That's not a machine, those are screws. Technically, they are simple machines. These marvels transform a turning force into a forward force. Ooh! Please, try not to faint. I just want to see one rob. Oh, it's gone again. Simple machines are basic mechanical machines, such as levers, pulleys, and screws. And definitely not computers and space rockets. There's nothing simple about them, believe me. Question five. Which of these things can't be printed by a 3D printer? Is it A, glass, B, meat, or C, paper? Need a clue? You can write on this. So do you think you got it? The answer is C, paper. You can't 3D print a piece of paper, but you can 3D print glass and amazingly, meat. And making 3D printed meat is better for the environment, as you don't need lots of cows which burp and fart out gas into the atmosphere. <laughs> Question six. Electromagnets are very powerful magnets that can lift really heavy pieces of metal. They're even used in scrapyards to lift cars. But how do we get electromagnets to work? Do we A. Pour water on them B. Pass electricity through them or C. Sink to them Need a clue? Well, there's one in the name. Electromagnet. So do you think you've got it? The answer is B. You can switch them on and off by turning the electricity on and off. Now, where were we? You're about to turn on your giant electromagnet. Actually, I wasn't, because that would be super unsafe, and I've learned my lessons from last time. Yeah, that tank came through the wall fast. Indeed. And shush, Ricky. But that incident led to my new metal safety helmets, complete with built-in ear defenders. How fetching. Jealous. So, we're going to evacuate everyone, apart from you, Agent Goody, before we turn the magnet on, and you will die. What did he say? Turn the magnet on. OK. No, wait, don't turn the magnet on. Magnet on. No, turn it off. I can't reach. Metal safety helmets, you said? No, no. Oh, the magnet got my helmet. Not wearing a helmet is a clear health and safety breach. Take a walk with me, Ricky. Ah! Curse my protective magnetic steel underpants! What? The magnet is activated your laser bot! Thanks for stating the obvious, Ricky. That's very useful. Oh, you're kidding me! I guess as far as electromagnets go, he might not see the attraction. So well done, Techno Fiends! We've computed the results and you're a winner. And remember, Horrible Science is available to watch right now on BBC iPlayer.